Dude, it is officially time to talk driveway. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering. All right, so check this out, guys. Before this video gets started, I do want to mention that we just dropped another fire piece of merch, the windbreaker jacket right here. Of course, you got the zipper that goes all the way up and down. You got the stretchy arms, and of course, you got the hood with the adjustable waistband as well. And this is our brand new color. You got that new logo up front as well. These suckers are super fire, and they are pretty limited. So if you want to copy one and help support your boys, be sure to visit GunSquad.com. But as of right now, let's get to the video. Shoo-wee, man. man. look how cute. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we ordered a whole entire truckload of some sod. And we finally got most of it installed and it looks absolutely amazing. Transformed the whole entire look of this exterior. We do got a couple more pallets left to install, but we're gonna try to get to that today if possible. And also we've seen all the comments about how our driveway is gonna go. So we're gonna do a little bit of explaining a little bit later. But as of right now, what we wanna focus on is picking up all of our kitchen appliances, which those suckers are finally in at the Best Buy. All we gotta do is just head over there and pick them up in the trucks. And I believe we're actually gonna throw them into the house as well and maybe even get power today. So we may be able to turn all that stuff on and do some testing. So we got some super exciting things planned, but as of right now, we go ahead hop into the trucks head to the best buy and see what they got for us Alrighty guys, so we are finally back from the Best Buy with all of our kitchen appliances. We got the whole shebang here. This is basically gonna complete our kitchen 100% with the refrigerator, the oven, the microwave, and even the dishwasher, dude. dude. we're basically gonna see what this kitchen dude. looks like, basically complete, other than the backsplash, of course, dude. Hey, and I believe that backsplash should be pretty easy to do, so we might even get to it today, dude, man. just slap it on the wall and you're good to go, man. Dude, but all these appliances are here, I believe, are in the stainless steel, the original stainless steel color, not the dark stainless, so. Yeah, that's what we were looking at at the store was that that dark stainless but we wanted to go with the light you know stainless steel that way it just matches our like white kitchen you yeah, know what i mean exactly. i think that's the best way to make everything flow but i don't remember if we verified dude, that 100 percent. that's dude. what i was thinking dude i was like dude what did we order maybe it's all the dark stainless but maybe it's all the light stainless hopefully it's not mismatched because i'm okay with either dude, dude you <laughs> want to go checker mode in that yeah, kitchen? we may have to dude but anyways what we're going to do right now is probably go ahead throw on these uh moving straps right here pops has got one as well look at Dang. that lasso man go ahead and pull him around the yard real quick Look war, dude. <laughs> looks like we're about to go skydiving or bungee jumping or dude, something who like knows? that but that's definitely going to make the moving process a lot easier just for that refrigerator all this other stuff is pretty light but yeah hey i guess it's time to go ahead and unload everything we didn't want to drive on this sod of course because it is freshly laid dude don't, don't want to mess it up man don't want it to die on us or anything like that so let's just go ahead and load all this stuff onto that front porch there and probably start cracking all this stuff open
working microwave, man. Oh my goodness, the very first piece of appliance that we opened up is actually a nice stainless steel one, which is a good sign. Hopefully the rest are the same. Oh yeah, and dude, look how well just that stainless matches with this kitchen appliances. And I love how the, the inside of this, all the control panel is black because that just gives it the perfect touch. Dude, that looks super sick right there. And this is like a pretty high quality microwave, if oh, you yeah. will, dude. I mean, that's a pretty like modern style looking one. You know, it's all one panel glass right here. Instead of like having those big old buttons, it's all nice and sleek. And the handle is right here on the side, not like protruding and stuff like yes, that. Yes, sir. We went ahead and actually plugged up to a power cord just temporarily. Go ahead and open that door. Up. Let's show you guys what's on the inside. That looks like a double layer or double, double pizza Double cooker. pizza, cooker, warmer, whatever you want to call this. I don't know what you honestly use this for, but it comes out and you have yourself or just a regular nice microwave. So we're going to see what this sucker is. I don't know. <laughs> what did you think it was? Um, I think it's a... Uh... A shoe dryer? <laughs> <laughs> Not shoe. I think you can just cook multiple burritos or uh, a bunch of pizza rolls dude, at once, you dude. You can just throw whatever you want on here. And, dude, the cool thing is you put this sucker on the mini spring rolls, or where's the burrito rolls? <laughs> the yeah, rolls. Yeah, really, the I Man. think what that is, is, is that called like an air, air fryer or something No, no, like that? no, this ain't an air fryer. I think that's just uh, this is an auto cook. The air fryer, I believe, is My, in our oven. I think it's, a, it's a for defrost uh, something in me. Or you can cook a whole Thanksgiving turkey in there, dude, or defrost it or something yeah. like that. That's pretty dang cool. So, super happy with that Samsung. Oh, is that an LED light? Dude, got a nice LED light up under there. Dude, it makes some cool sick. sound, too. Look at that, dude. That Samsung mm -hmm. is putting in some work. It's definitely going to put in a lot more work. Oh, yeah, definitely. And you might have noticed us switching uh, that fan that's in there. We actually made it in a, a, a circulate. The air is going to circulate on the inside of the house instead of actually making it go to the outside, the ventilation. Yeah, so that, that's one of the options instead of actually doing uh, a vent. see first time over here, you see? It's a turntable uh, off and on. It's a, a lot oh, of the turntable? Yeah, mm -hmm. if you want to turn it off. You turn mm -hmm. off, you know. If you Turn want to steam clean it, you can steam clean it. Dude, steam yeah. clean it? Yeah, look at that. That's legit, wow. man. How going to get the uh, water down there? I don't know. <laughs> it just figures it out on its own. <laughs> I thought he was about to say, how many gears does that thing have? <laughs> <laughs> it got nine gears, man. Nine, and then maybe more. <laughs> there That's a pretty cool little piece right here. Super awesome. Really easy to install. We just had to do a few measurements right there. Can't wait to actually unwrap it. We're actually going to leave this on until like, the house is done. Yeah, that way it doesn't get damaged or anything. But I guess let's move on to the next piece right under it dude our oven dude Now that is slick, dude. Dude, check that out, man. That's a clean looking dishwasher oh right there, Oh my goodness, dude. that sucker looks super modern right there. There was one with like a weird looking handle. Or was it, it this one actually? Yeah, it was this one. The one that we really wanted wasn't available until like April. And there was another one with like a big handle on it. Didn't look really good because all of our other appliances have like the hidden, seamless. Yeah, look. seamless kind of hidden handles. And uh, the lady said, well, you can go with this one with a different style door. And we said, let's do it. And dude, that's just the perfect thing right dude, there, that's man. That's a good looking face right there. Super modern. You can't see any buttons on the front here. They're all across the top and it matches all of our other appliances along with the oven. Dude, oh my that goodness. oven dude is so cool dude it has all types of new technologies in it dude i just can't wait to show you guys that but we're gonna slap this sucker in as well dude but we're not gonna connect it just yet yeah right? we still need a few other water connections and we're just gonna save that we might even save that for the plumber who knows yeah definitely but we can right now just slide it in just to see what it looks like yeah dude. exactly and on top of that
that that oven dude has a built-in fry air fryer yeah, built-in air fryer that's like the number one top thing that i really wanted in the oven because you know nowadays uh, air fryers are a big thing but people will buy them and like set them on their counter but that's an oven with a built-in one dude i don't even know what an air fryer does but it sounds like it's gonna make some good yeah, food dude, man. i don't even know what it does i heard it does like chicken wings really good and chicken stuff wings, like that some dude, hot, fries, pockets. hot pockets oh, oreos whatever what? you want dude we're gonna put that thing to the test oh my man. goodness <laughs> you guys know we like some good old food we're gonna oh, yeah. we're gonna spend some time up in there but what do you say right now dude right now let's just go ahead and slap this sucker in there and then uh i think the electricians will be here next to hook up to light up our world dude, dude. light up our world with permanent power and then we're gonna do our grand finale the refrigerator man. oh my goodness let's do it dude let's do it This, dude, dude, look how much better our kitchen looks now. Almost looks complete, dude. Dude, all the appliances in. Of course, the microwave, the oven, but now the new dishwasher right there. Shoes. Super clean. It did have a little dinger in it, didn't it? Yeah, it had a little bend in it. I guess that's just whenever they were like packaging it or something like that. But you know, my body work skills kicked in and I bent that thing right out and can't even tell, dude. dude. Like nothing ever happened, but we move over to the main event over here. This French door refrigerator, double decker, whatever you want to call it, man. This thing just looks perfect perfect with everything else yep. dude. it's a perfect fit as well and all the doors open up properly nothing like butts up against anything it does need to be adjusted a little bit right yeah though? it's a little tilt right now i mean everything is just probably right right from the factory we will adjust that later after we like connect all the water lines and stuff like that we're really not focused on it but dude this thing is slick man dude look at well, how do you open this the thing? top right here <laughs> still gotta get used to it. look at this right here though that's dude. the coolest feature i think that's right some there. technology the coolest feature for me is this thing right here which fills up a water jug for you that way you can just take this thing off and go sip on some water put it on your nightstand and have water all the time man. some ice cold water or, yes, or some sir. nice chilled water dude. oh yeah for sure dude that is super cool but that's gonna be pretty much it for the kitchen we were hoping to get to that backsplash but as you can tell it's getting dark on yeah, us it's ain't getting it? dark on us and uh we actually got permanent power now so oh yeah dude almost forgot that but the lights are still not hooked up yeah. because not all the breakers are in right yeah, not all the breakers are in i believe we only got six breakers and they're only going to the gfi that's just the power outlets that way we don't have to run power cords anymore we got like a hundred foot power cords running Dang. to the well house now all we have to do is just plug into the wall Dude, that's gonna that's gonna be a good feeling right there but moving on to the next thing right now we got to focus on something really important that's actually getting that sod down yes. dude. so we got six pallets of sods still sitting there and i did a little bit of research and you're really not supposed to let it sit for too long sometimes 48 hours is top they'll start dying on us and we don't want that sod to start dying because we need it dude we need to throw it everywhere dude. yeah and we're probably going to work towards the well house because we're still going to talk about how the driveway is yeah. going to go but that's not going to get in the way there yeah that that's not going to get in the way one of the main things is to go ahead and clean up around the well house we still got some dirt we got to straighten out and all that stuff may work a little bit into the dark because we got to get that sod down as soon as possible yeah, at least as much as we possibly yeah, can dude. definitely so what do you say man let's go ahead and fire up the excavator and start straightening out some stuff
Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here and it got a little dark on us yesterday for what we wanted to do. We actually wanted to bring in some topsoil so we had to go into the woods. So I guess we just had to wait till the next day to get some nice daylights and you know what, we got it knocked out. Brought in a lot more topsoil around this whole entire well house, the way the water flows properly away from it and that way we don't have to build a step up front here. Look at that dude. I know dude, it looks way better like that. So we brought in a couple buckets up here to just like, uh, just get one foot step instead of like that three foot drop that was in front of it dude. It's perfect now. now we're ready for some sod right here and we did a little bit more research on this sod this sod is actually sleeping right now so wake up we're about to wake it up rolling around this whole entire well house dude there's like some sort of scientific um, theory behind it i believe the grass right now is actually dormant so when it's super cold it's actually sleeping but as you can tell i'm in a t-shirt today so it's super warm this is the perfect time to lay this stuff down so good thing we're doing it actually today and i don't think it's gonna die on us no dude i think it'll last forever man. yep and another thing i want to mention is we're gonna probably leave that little section right there open because we still got to add a little bit more insulation in the attic i think it's called that blowed in insulation yeah or they're gonna like blow in some insulation i think they have to blow it in a certain amount of inches and we're waiting on that hopefully we can get some guys out today if not then we'll probably just leave that area sod free or something yeah like exactly that. we'll leave a little patchless area right there but anyways we're gonna go ahead and start laying this stuff out and show you guys how it turns out Alrighty guys, so check this out. We ended up laying down a couple more pallets of sod. And I gotta say it looks even better, especially around that well house right there. Dude, that well house looks clean, dude. dude. that looks way better, especially after filling the sides of it with dirt and stuff. Just finished it off, yep. dude. And then we ran it into our front yard right here, got it spliced together. It was pretty difficult because of how like they were running in different directions, but you know what? We sliced and diced and we got it connected. And we even took care of this gravel pile right here. Basically just moved it over there where it was super muddy, super slick because of where we were digging with that trench you know yeah definitely i mean it wasn't much gravel so we managed to just throw it in the most needed area and that's about it but what about the driveway dude dude it is officially time to talk driveway i know a lot of you guys have been wondering we even seen the comment where somebody said i bet they don't even like driveways or something like that <laughs> and i love me some good driveways dude. i know we didn't have a good one at the previous place or at the original gun squad garage but you know what that's one of our biggest goals is to have a nice clean driveway for all of our builds but we got two options we did a lot of brainstorming the very first option is actually running the drive or paving the drive all the way from there and all the way across the front yard, nice and regular size driveway, and then doing a big old pad in front of the garage that we're gonna build over there, dude. Yeah, so that's probably one of our, my, that's that's probably my favorite option because that's gonna clean up this whole entire front yard. It's gonna prevent from cars parked in the front and mm -hmm. just gonna obstruct the view, and it's gonna give us a nice clean front yard if we do that yeah, option. Exactly, dude. I love the idea of having a big old front yard, all green grass, and maybe doing a couple pavers or stepping stones to the front door right there. Yes. But then the second option, of course, we already talked about this a lot, and that's actually doing the whole entire circle between the two buildings. We just have to cut in between some of that grass. That looked pretty good as well, but you know what? We still haven't decided, and that is because we still got time to brainstorm because the reason why we got time is because we're going to work on the commercial building, which that's going to take a couple of months, right? Yeah, definitely. So that's our biggest thing right now is breaking ground in that commercial building. This building was gonna, is going to be on pause for a couple months. We're definitely going to get on it, but once that building 
building is up, then we'll officially know how our driveway is yeah. going to be laid so out. So this is your time to let us know what you guys think. Should we do the first option, the long driveway, or should we do the circle drive? I think either one is going to look pretty good. But as of right now, that's going to be pretty much it. We're going to do a lot more brainstorming. We may even get our contractor to draw something up. Yeah, so definitely. As of right now, we're probably going to go ahead and actually take care of this last uh, sod uh, pallet right there. And then I think that'll be it for today. Alrighty guys, so that is gonna be pretty much it for today's video. We're super excited with what we got done so far. All the appliances in the kitchen, a couple more pallets of sawed down. The next one, I believe the electricians that are gonna work on the inside of the house will be out here to finish up all the lighting fixtures and all that good stuff. I mean, this house is gonna be over before you know it. So definitely make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.